put the lights up for her. Let's go to sleep, huh? You mean you're actually going to bed? Well, it's three o'clock in the morning. We had a nice evening. Yeah, I'm going to sleep. Well, if you can sleep just as though nothing happened. What happened? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy, all the way home in the cab, I've been trying to find out why you miffed. Now, what is it? What happened? What did I do that I don't know I did? That I'm sure I shouldn't have done. <laughs> but I'm a cinch to do it again if you don't tell me what it is. <laughs> what is it? Nothing. Please, come on. Well, if you don't know what you did, I'm certainly not going to tell you. What did I do? I took you to Joey DeMarco's opening, right? Huh? Got us a nice ringside table. I pulled the chair out for you to sit down. Is that correct? Was I not a gentleman? I never left the table once when I bought a cigar. I didn't even look at the cigarette girl's legs, although they were very shapely. <laughs> so what are you mad at me for? I'm not mad at you, and, I, and that has nothing to do with it, and... If you didn't look at the girl's legs, how do you know they were shapely? <laughs> All cigarette girls have shapely legs. Why do you think the nightclubs hire them? Because they're tobacco experts? <laughs> Now, come on, Clancy, what is it? Oh, you wouldn't understand. Why wouldn't I understand? Because you're a man. Oh, here we go. A woman's <laughs> favorite cry. You wouldn't understand because you're a man, like we belong to a stupid club or something. <laughs> the sort of thing only a woman would understand. Women are different than men. They're, they're sensitive. They're complex. They're, they're, they're... Oh, what's the word? They're nuts. <laughs> <laughs> That's so. Well, you didn't seem to feel that way about Mrs. DeMarco. Margie? Yes, Margie. <laughs> you seemed very impressed when Joey started ladling out all that goop about how she helped him with his act. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me while I turn off the bowl, but just lit. <laughs> That's what's bothering you, uh, you sweet thing, honey. I'm tired. I got no time for small talk. What do you mean, small talk? After the way you swooned over... Oh, Margie, you mean that great parody of Joey's was really your idea? How lucky can a guy get to have a wife who can help him with his act? If that's an impersonation of me, it's the worst I ever saw in my whole life. <laughs> it's exactly like you. Yeah. And what did you say when, when Joey says you've got quite a wife yourself? So what did I say? You said, yeah, the kid makes a great pot roast. <laughs> I was making a joke. Well, you know I didn't know anything about show business when I married you. You knew that I could never help you with your act. I if you wanted the kind of a woman that could, could help you with your career, you should have married one. Look, honey, I paid my friend's wife a compliment just to be nice. That's all I mean. I was wishing she was my wife. Well, why not? She's intelligent and clever, isn't she? I suppose so. And she's the kind of a woman who would make a very good wife for a husband who's a performer, wouldn't yeah, she? I guess so. And she's very attractive. You must admit that. All right, so she's attractive. Well, if you think that I'm going to stand here and listen to you rave about another woman you've got to listen to... <laughs> What's the matter with you? You crazy or something? Honey, it's late. It's three o'clock. I'd like to get some sleep. All right, darling. Go to bed. Naturally, you can sleep. <laughs> <laughs> it's not your problem. It's mine. I, I, I see that now. It's, I just haven't made a place for myself what? in your life. I've failed you, that's all. I've simply failed you. Darling. <laughs> Three o'clock in the morning, honey. I got an important friars meeting tomorrow. I gotta be fresh for that meeting, honey. I like to get some sleep, all right? All right, darling. Go on, get some sleep. Okay, baby. Why don't you admit that I failed you? <laughs> Go on, admit it. Couldn't you fail me in the morning? Oh. <laughs> That's right, make jokes. Honey, I'm not making jokes. I think you're a wonderful wife. I think you're beautiful and understanding, intelligent, and the nicest wife a man could have, and I want to get some sleep. You don't mean that. I don't mean it. I never meant anything more in my life. I can't wait to get to sleep. <laughs> I mean, you don't mean that about my being the kind of a wife you want. Sweetheart, look, lover, you don't understand. 
A man doesn't want to come home with his wife. He wants to come home to her. And he doesn't want to come home to a big genius. He just wants to come home to his wife. When I walk through that door, I want to be hit by a kiss and a pot roast. <laughs> not by a new idea for my nightclub routine or anything else. Just be what you are. Can you understand that? Oh, honey, do you really mean that? You know I mean it. Oh, darling. Baby, let's go to sleep, huh? Oh, honey, I, I just wish there was some way I could help, though. No, no more, baby. You don't oh. have to help me at all. You're Daddy, just you know fun. it's not my fault that I don't Robert. understand about show business. It was never part of my background. I was a trained nurse. Yeah. Oh, that's right. You were a trained nurse. Shit, I forgot all about that. Oh, you could help me. Oh, I could. Oh, honey, I want to do that more than anything in the world. Tell me, how could I help you? Put me to bed. <laughs> Honey, I want to apologize for last night. Oh, come on. You don't have to apologize for anything. And hey, I got great news. I got something oh, to no, tell you. Oh, no, wait a minute, darling. Please, let me tell you. I've been thinking about it all morning, and I couldn't wait for you to come home to tell you. No. I I'm sorry. I behaved so childishly last night, pouting because I couldn't crowd myself into your career. You know, honey, I realized that if Margie DeMarco's life is so empty that she has to look for satisfaction in Joey's act, why, that's her problem. As far as I'm concerned, I feel important enough just being your wife and the mother of our children. And the way that I can help you best is by doing my job and not butting into yours. It's a beautiful speech. <laughs> and so from now on, Mrs. Danny Williams, pot roast specialist, <laughs> is not going to interfere in her husband's career. Okay, dollface. Oh. <laughs> now, what was it you wanted to tell me, honey? Honey, I got great news for you. Oh? I've been nominated to the highest office in the Friars Club. Abbott, an election is next week. Oh, honey, that's wonderful. I can handle your whole campaign. <laughs> oh, yes, darling, I, I can be a hostess and I can give no, dinners. Stands, and then I can make speeches no, and I no, can send out campaign no, literature. You, you, you don't like understand that. the Friars Club is a little bit different to begin with. It's a men's club as number one. Well. Uh, and honey, it's a very complex thing, you see. Uh, uh, I'm running against Phil Silver. He's a very popular boy, and, uh, <laughs> and he's got a lot of votes sewed up already. Oh, see. honey, we can unsew them. I'll yeah. give a big cocktail party. Robert, now, just a minute. I understand something. This is kind of a little bit different than any club you know about. To begin with, in the Friars Club, the votes are controlled by two factions. One faction is led by a fellow named Ed Kelly. The other one's led by a man named Sam Jacobs. Now, unless you get the backing of one of them, you are dead. Well, why not get them both? <laughs> you see what I mean, honey? You don't know. These huh? guys hate each other. Oh. They've been feuding for years. If one of them even suspected that the other one liked you, he automatically has to hate you. <laughs> oh, well, I think that's pretty silly. Why do they hate each other? Who knows? Nobody remembers but them. The fact remains, to get elected Abbott, you have to get the backing of one of these fellas. And then you concentrate on the independent voters to get your majority. Well, which one are you going to go after? I don't know. I know Sam Jacobs likes me. So? Yeah, but he likes Phil Silvers, too. Oh. Hey, I just thought, Ed Kelly hates Phil Silvers. Wonderful. Go after him. But he hates me, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, honey, don't worry. I'll think of something. Oh. Love her. Don't, huh? <laughs> you think I should hate Kelly? Look, to me, it's strictly a toss-up. Why don't we toss, huh? Heads, Jacobs. Tails, Kelly. All right? Heads. It's Tails. You're a Kelly hater. Okay, so I'm a Kelly hater. <laughs> you're inviting Jacobs to dinner tonight. Tonight? Yeah, tonight. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. I buddy. know what I'm doing because the quicker, the better. Here. Hello, Mr. Jacobs? Hello, Sam. This is Danny Williams. Yeah. Yes, it's been a long time. Matter of fact, that's why I'm, I'm calling you. I figured we'd renew old acquaintanceships. How'd you like to come over to my house for dinner tonight? We'd love to have you. Well, that's wonderful. 7.30 okay? Good. See you then. Thank you, Sam. Goodbye.
Oh, boy, that's great. See? Jacobs is all set. I'll call Kathy now, and she will make the greatest pot roast she ever made in her whole life. She's been dying to help me in my career. This will be her opportunity. It's busy. Listen, I got to get to the club in about a half hour. I have your girl call my wife and tell her that Sam Jacobs is coming to dinner tonight. Will you do that for me? Well, sure, but why don't you wait a minute and tell her yourself? You didn't hear me. My wife is on the phone. The line is busy. You want me to wait a minute? Yeah. <laughs> you poor sheltered bachelor. <laughs> you don't know when these wives get on the phone, they go yakety yak, yak, yak. They solve all the world's problems all day long. Yeah, give a listen. I'm so happy you can come to dinner tonight. Yes, 7.30 will be fine. I know Danny will be just thrilled. All right, see you then. Goodbye, Mr. Kelly. <laughs> Now, let me see. I think I'll put Mr. Kelly right here. Danny can sit there, and I'll sit over there, and I'll put... Rusty, what's that place set for? Oh, I forgot to tell you. While you were taking your shower, someone called and said Daddy was having a guest. Oh? Did they say who it was? Yes, a man by the name of Jacobs. Oh, well, it must be some friend of Daddy's from downtown. Jacobs! <laughs> what's the matter, Kathy? Oh, Kathy, I'm home! Oh, I wish I were dead! Children, go, go, go up to your room, please. Oh, go great. right away up to your room. Just as soon no. as something starts to happen, it's go to your room, children. <laughs> we may as well face it, Linda. We're outcasts. <laughs> oh, hi, kids. Hi. What's the matter with you? We're outcasts. <laughs> kids. Oh, sweetheart, that looks beautiful. I see Charlie called you, huh? Well, you always wanted to help me. <laughs> Your daddy's big helper. How about this? Now, look, honey, we'll put Sam here, you sit there, and I will sit there, and we'll kind of trap him between us. And, uh, who's gonna sit there, honey? Oh, where, darling? Yeah. <laughs> oh, there. Who's oh, honey, honey, wait, why do you try to eat celery without putting salt on it? It's just ridiculous to eat it. <laughs> who's the other guest? The other guest? Oh, oh uh, um... Um, honey, do you know that little Mrs. Brooks that lives on the floor below us? Oh. Oh, well, she's a dear, sweet little old lady, a widow and no family. She lives all alone. Having her? Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, honey, we should sometime. It would do her a world of good. And for that, sweetheart, yeah. we should have it. Yeah. Who are we having tonight? <laughs> You're going to be mad. Come on, I, I won't be mad. You promise, honey? Of course I promise. Well, it, it, it's Mr. Kelly. Yeah, and you thought I was gonna... No! <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know my heart stopped beating for a minute? <laughs> you know what I know, Sam? That's the greatest practical joke I've heard in my whole life. <laughs> What a sense of humor. <laughs> oh, you're beautiful. <laughs> I did. I knew you had a sense of humor like that. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Ed Kelly and Sam Jacobs having dinner at the same table. <laughs> I could have it. They wouldn't even let me be an ashtray wiper. <laughs> ah! <laughs> say you didn't do it. Say, say, say I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Uh, <laughs> Johnny, I was only trying to help. Oh, I'm help you ruin me and wreck me. I'm well, I didn't know that oh. you were going to invite Mr. Jacobs tonight. <laughs> oh. uh, that, that, that's yeah, one honey, of them. Now, honey, listen, let's, let's not panic. Let's not panic. I'll think of some way to correct this mess. I well, what, 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 what? what? Well, answer the doorbell. Thanks a lot. I knew you'd come up with something. <laughs> well, Sam, how are you? Hello, Danny. Certainly nice to see you. Thank you. Let me have your hat. Oh, sure. Uh, this is uh, my wife, uh, 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 Kathy. Kathy. 
<laughs> Mr. Jacobs, oh, honey. it's so nice to know you, Mr. Jacobs. Thank you. Very nice of you to invite me to dinner. Well, uh, dinner? Oh, yes, that reminds me. Here, put your hat back on. We'll go right out right now. Oh, yeah. oh, but I thought we were having a home-cooked meal. Oh, we are going to yeah, have right a home-cooked meal. right down the street. Meal. Mother Crawford's Mother. the best home-cooked dinner in all of New York. You'll right. see. <laughs> You better eat at home after all, oh, honey. Yes, yes. <laughs> right there, Sam. Right there. Fine. Fine. Uh. Hello, Ed. You look sick. Go home and go to bed. <laughs> There's one of your jokes. No, Ed, uh, listen, don't worry about wasting a meal. Food is unimportant. If you're not feeling well, go right home and lie down. Ah, nonsense. I feel fine. Only one thing wrong with me, I'm starving. Yeah. Where's, uh, where's Mrs. Williams? Who? Your <laughs> wife. Oh, oh, that Mrs. Williams. Uh, Where is she? Uh, she's, uh, she, uh, in, uh, in the kitchen. Sit down, sit down. Uh, sit down. I'll, br I'll bring her right in. Sit right down here. Here you are. Have a magazine. I... <laughs> Well, now, Sam, my goodness, so nice to have you in our house. You know, you meet a fellow around the club, and it's not, you don't get to really know him. But that's why we figured to invite you here. That's true. I was just telling your wife that we old timers at the Friars Club need some new blood, young fellows like you, to keep things moving. Wonderful. I, wait a minute. Is that place for, set for somebody else? You expecting someone, another guest? Oh, yes, that's, that, uh, 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 uh. That's, uh, 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 uh that's, that's Uncle, Uncle Claude's place. Uh, Uncle Claude? Yeah. Uh, is it going to be late? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm afraid so. He, he passed away. <laughs> but, uh, he lived with us a long time, and we always set a place for him. <laughs> We're very sentimental. Yeah, yes, I yeah. understand. Honey, the roast beef smells wonderful. Mm -hmm. Honey, don't forget to feed the cat in the living room. Oh, <laughs> oh yes, yes. Annie, let's go down to brass tacks. Yeah, sure. I don't like to beat around the bush. I like you. I don't care what anybody says. I like you. Well, thank you. And I want to clearly understand you. You have my support, except for one thing. I don't want anything to do with that no good, two-faced Eddie Kelly. Oh, Sam, why do you think I called you? Now, excuse me a minute, will you? You know how I feel about that, ma'am. <laughs> you must be Mr. Kelly. Uh, oh, it's so nice this to see my, you. My wife, you, uh, you Miss... You'll uh, have uh, to uh, forgive us for being late. Yeah. You see, my maid is sick, and we've been having a little trouble around yeah. here. Yeah. Well, uh... <coughs> hey, uh... You know, Danny, uh, I've been keeping an eye on you. Oh, thank you, thank you, Ed. I'm glad you decided to line up with me instead of with that weasel Sam Jacobs. That's why I, well, I called you, Ed. You know, we like to eat in the living room sometimes. It's, it's yeah. so yes, much colder. Yes, Well, as I was saying, uh, Danny, I'm an honest man, and I believe in calling a spade a spade, so I guess by now you know how I feel about this uh, no-good uh, no Sam Jacobs. Yes, he, he he's a spade, all right. Yes, sir. <laughs> Seeing anything of him lately? Is... I uh, better get the dinner, dear. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll help you, sweetheart. Yeah, so will I. No, 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 sit down, sit down. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, Sam, everything under control? <laughs> there you are. Well, Dig right into there, buddy. Oh. Have yourself some of that there roast beef with some potatoes. How about Thank that, you, buddy? Roast beef. Honey, My that's for you. Yes, Isn't that great? Looks beautiful, doesn't Thank it? Yes, now, Danny. Yeah. Why you being excuse, elected excuse me a minute, will you? <laughs> well, now, Sam, here we are, right there. Dig right in, buddy. Aha. So Roast beef? The best. That's my favorite dinner. I hope you enjoy it. Now, you go yes, right ahead here. It's a nice piece for you. Have yeah. yourself some of those All potatoes right. there. Well, well. Now, listen, you just take your time and eat, and oh, I'll, oh. I'll, I'll go get <laughs> Kathy. All right? Yes. Fine. Oh, oh. <laughs> Sam is... You know, I think you're a credit to our profession yes. and a man of great personal integrity. Well, That's why I like you. Thank you. Excuse what? me just a minute. <laughs> how, how, how you doing, Ed? Well, well, what's keeping your wife? What's that? I say, what's keeping your wife? I'm going to I'll go 
Dealing hypocrites. That Thank goes you. for me. You're not going to get my support. Nor mine. I'll do my best to have you thrown out of the friars. And I'll help you. You mean that? Yeah, shake. <laughs> hey, this is the first time we've shaken hands in 25 years. Yeah, not since we had that fight about the, uh, about the, uh, 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 uh what were we fighting about anyway? <laughs> you mean you don't remember? No, do you? No. <laughs> the most unbelievable situation I've ever heard of in my whole life. Why, you two are unbelievable. Holding a grudge for 25 years. Do you know if once, just once, either one of you had gone up to the other and said, what are you mad about? It would have been all over. Why, you're worse than children, stupid children. And then getting angry at Danny because he tries to bring you back together again. You should be ashamed of yourselves and get down on your knees and thank him, both of you. He's right, Eddie. We should be ashamed. Here. Here's my hand, and this time it's in friendship. Well, it's been a long time, Sam, and I'm glad we're friends again, you know, because, uh, well, it, it's kind of rough trying to hate a guy that you really like. <laughs> I know what you mean. Yeah. Oh, well, well, as long as we all came here to have dinner, well, let's have it. Yeah, uh, together this time. <laughs> Good idea. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Let's sit right down. Sam, in your steady place there. Uh oh. What's the matter? That's Uncle Claude's place. Who's Uncle Claude? <laughs> <laughs> Our deceased uncle, uh, darling. <laughs> oh, yes, that's right. Oh, well, I'm sure he won't mind. I'm sure he won't. You won't mind, would you, Uncle Claude? <laughs> uncle Claude? Excuse me, Uncle Claude! <laughs> Buzzards got to say for yourselves. Well, I'll say one thing. That was quite a dinner. <laughs> yes, sir. In more ways than one. Boy, will the friars be surprised when they find out for the first time in 25 years Eddie Kelly and Sam Jacobs are pals again <laughs> and supporting the same candidate. And we owe it all to this wonderful little wife of yours. Oh, well, I'm very happy to hear you say that, but I was just trying to help Danny a little. <laughs> oh, that you did. I guess it's a foregone conclusion. The candidate you two fellas back is a shoe in <laughs> Wonderful. Well, Danny, about the election. While you were helping Kathy with the dishes, Eddie and I decided that, uh... Well, we decided to support Phil Silvey. <laughs> <laughs> Phil Silvey? Well, you see, Danny, the job of Abbott requires diplomacy and tact. And any man who would invite two old enemies like us to dinner at the same time certainly has no tact. <laughs> Coming, pal. After you, pal. <laughs> 